Good morning, guys. What's up? Welcome to another beautiful exploration of Thailand. I hope you're having a great day today. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to my friend Stephen. He's joining me for this video today. Stephen actually is helping me shoot. He's also going to be my friend. He's also going to help me eat all the stuff that we're going to investigate today. We are starting out today at the Talad Sot. That's how you say fresh market in Thai. This is the Mahia, fresh market. Actually, it's my local market, so whenever I just want to feel that beautiful energy of Thai food at any hour of the morning, really, I can just come to this market. I describe it as like a one-stop Thai food experience. It's all in one place. The smells, the sounds, the sizzle. <laughs> the environment is just perfectly set up to make you very, very hungry. And we are going to share all of that and more. Thank you again for joining us today. Oh man, so we are in. Again, welcome. This is called a Talad Sot. Sot means fresh. Talad is market. Up here in the north, they call it Gad. So Gad, Gad Mehia is the name of this place. And right here, we are already just in the presence of so many flavors, sights, colors, smells. But this is where we're going. I, I might even be able to use my nose to find where we're going. So you can see some grilled fish. You can also see a lot of grilled intestines. That's one of the things I love about northern food. They use all the parts of the animal. These are called ap. Ap is different than mo. I just convinced grandma because I talked up the dish of the pig brains. She was, she was interested. She made an <laughs> additional purchase. So both ap and mo are the things that are going to be steamed or roasted in the banana leaves. But these two recipes are different. Ap is going to be more about the herbs and mo is going to be more about the, I guess, about the texture. And it's uh, heavier, just more meat inside. The thing we are here for, though, is the sai ua. Sai means uh, uh, something in a line, and then ua means stuffed. In this case, the sai is an intestine, and it's stuffed with herbs, meat, just amazingness. And it's happening all over there on this huge grill that they have, just as like an advertisement for the beauty of their recipe. ใช่ๆเดินได้เดินได้ครับผมยังไม่ได้ย้ายมาอยู่เชียงใหม่ยังอยู่ภาคอีสานไปไหนก็ไม่อร่อยเท่าที่นี่ครับอันนี้เป็
หมกแหนม We've got our rice ข้าวอินทายข้าวเหนียว sticky ข้าวเหนียว is the staple rice of northern Thailand and finally the dip the relish the spicy น้ำพริกหนุ่มน้ำพริก being a pounded mix from a mortar and then หนุ่ม is the type of chili pepper used it's more mild it's green like that it's a classic northern dish okay <laughs> oh I forgot the bonus the a b o n or she called it gang b o n b o n being the taro leaves but there's a lot of stuff in there there's some deep fried garlic shallots there's pork pork oil got some fried chilies on the side this is quite a meal right here oh, man. oh yeah Stephen you remember Stephen actually has a cool video of this This trick actually in reverse how to tie a bag, but getting the rubber band off is also a trick in itself. Yeah, I usually end up tearing it to pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, you guys, it is a great day, and I feel blessed because I love all these recipes. But it's a joy to share them with someone else. So it is fun for me having Stephen here. It's just, it's a good day. I mean, the weather is beautiful. What a day! What a day! You see how they tie the the bags also to puff up, so there's like a breath of air inside there, really just for looks. Because of, if the bag is like this, sitting all in a row, you might not be able to see exactly what's inside. But also, it's like a bunch of presents. So you roll it over at the top, and then tie it. Oh, I could put more air in there, but you tie it to make it puffy like that. It's just, just a cool thing you'll notice at the market. Okay, sticky rice is to be eaten with hands. So I did just wash my hands. You might ball it up to give it a little more stick stick togetherness because <laughs> you're gonna dip into different things. Sorry for the sorry for the noise. So n a m p i k n u m Yeah, you can see the the fibers of those chilies, and then just all the moisture inside those chilies. So they roast them first, man. And it is mostly just that chili pepper. Wow, it's not that spicy, but yeah, it is a it is a pepper, but it's not as spicy as the normal red Thai chili pepper. n a m p i k n u m Cheers. All of these dishes, all of northern Thai food, smoke is such an important flavor. They individually grill or roast so many of their ingredients before they make the recipe. So that dish, they grill the chilies, they grill some eggplant also, and then pound them in the mortar and pestle. Ooh, it is spicy. A big, a big bite like that. That is spicy, man. And also, you have just the roughness. You still have the seeds in there. It's just a mess of flavor. Mm. There are many different types of numpik. This one in the north, numpik num. It's the green one. Watch out for it. Hmm. Man, I love the perfect mushy consistency. Another one. Moving right along. <laughs> Another super, super uh, unique texture, right here. It is all mushy on the bottom, but then on top, you see she garnishes it with some deep-fried shallots and garlic, and then I know there is also pork inside. The oh, there you go. There's some pork skin poking out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again, this is made with taro leaves, mashed, obviously. The flavor per cubic centimeter just couldn't be higher than when you work with foods like this.
It is just sweet. It's so sweet. The flavor of the smoke doesn't come through immediately. It's more the, just the comfort, the texture when it's, I mean, yeah, look at that. It's very sweet. Um, the garlic is even sweet. And then the pork, just pork fat, very high pork content here. Oh man, the bonus. I think the bonus might blow away one of the dishes I was, I came here to eat. Oh, it's so good. Hmm. Wow. Yep. So there's pork oil in there, but then also chunks of pork belly. So Northern Thai style for sure. Wow. Let's go over here and let's open up that little, little treat. So it's a lot of banana leaf because it protects the food roasted right on the coals. So actually the dish itself, there's not so much of it, but the flavor, <laughs> the amount of flavor, even in just a small package is pretty incredible. So again, I love just the mushy nature. All of these are so hand friendly, right? So let's, let's mush away. <laughs> Look at that, I mean, that's a, that's a big bite. Now, nam is a very rich dish, pork skin, and then sometimes they will steam an egg just to mix it around, give it something to hold it together. But then it's the folding of that pyramid shape that really holds it together in the end. But yeah, when you mush into it for your first bite. Oh yeah, the garlic content is insanely high as well. But yeah, you can almost, start you start eating as your fingers mush into it you can just imagine the texture before you've even bitten into it wow okay it's so rich that's one of those dishes you might just need like one bite of the dish So much garlic, the, the pork fat, it's just like, well, I mean, it is slimy, but I love the sliminess of this dish. So those are strips of pork skin you can see right there on top. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep. You can't start talking about it too much. It'll fall apart in your hands. It's like gooey, gummy pork skin. Mok nam, what a dish. Hmm. It's not spicy. This one also is not spicy. This is the only spicy thing we've had so far, if that's the case, and you need some spice. Hmm. Oh. Chilies like that are a very warm, that's very peppery, like a black pepper peppery. Very warm. It's not sour like Thai chilies. Whew, they still got the fire though, wow. But yeah, these also are not the hottest chilies that you'll have here. There's still one more level, the, the Karen chilies. Pikaliang are even hotter than this, but whew, those aren't bad. Hmm. Okay. We have arrived. Time for the Sai Ua. I like how he sticks one more. Mai. So this is a, the big toothpick. Mai. Some meats are sold just as one Mai. They'll just skewer the meat for you and then sell it per, per stick. So here it is. The Sai Ua. The reason that I have such a soft place in my heart for this market originally is because of this sausage. This recipe, it's just ultimate. All over Northern Thailand, you have Sai Ua, but there are so many different variations. Let's learn more about this one right now in the best way. Okay. A 
moment of silence is necessary. Mm, it's very spicy. The lemongrass, the galangal. Gal. I mean, just let me show you more. You, you got to understand the level of texture inside this thing. So the name of the dish tells you exactly what it is. Sai, intestine, ua, stuffed. So it's stuffed with pork meat in this case. You can have some buffalo. I've, I've previously had beef and buffalo in northern Laos, but here, pork. So, kaffir lime leaf, galangal, and lemongrass. You've also got fresh chilies, and they've been pounded, they've been mixed in with the meat itself. Not just meat, you also have a lot of fat. So it's a, it's a pretty fatty sausage. And you gotta find your own balance, how much fat you like. I know in different cases, like if I'm tired during a bike ride, like a super fatty site, well, like, oh, that was so good, but I wouldn't really want to eat it for breakfast like today. So with this one, with the recipe focusing more on the herbs, specifically lemongrass for this one, I just love it. I just love it. You can see it's yellow. There is some turmeric in the recipe too, but I think lemongrass is what is what you will remember this recipe of Saiwa for. Mmm. Mmm. Let me show you another trick here. You can do something like this. So for a kid, for a kid, you might want to introduce saiwa to them in a little less spicy of a package. So you could do something like this, right? And then it's like a to-go bite. So the rice kind of just tones down the, the overall amount of spice hitting you. Mm. 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 That's just perfect. <laughs> I don't think there's any onions in it. It's just pork and then those three, those three rough herbs. Mm. Wow. Wow. My favorite Northern Thai dish. Uh, lap is also right up there. So maybe it's a Thai for me. Lap and Sai Ua. Man. Mm. Okay, Steven.